guys, Rochelle here from the Photographer Society. Welcome to this week's blog. So this blog is a bit different. I'm going to share with you my favorite most purchased item, album I should say, in my photography business. Um, you guys might use this supplier, but I absolutely love them because so good, um, they don't cost a lot, clients love them, and they have a beautiful packaging as well, so you don't need to worry about that as well. But I wanted to share with something a bit different this week and show you um, my most sold um, album inside my business. So I'm going to show you, um, you know, you know how it is, how it looks like, um, and all that sort of stuff, and where you can get um, yours. If you're just starting out, you're not sure, you can go check them out as well. And this is not a sponsored video, but because I love um, these albums, I wanted to share them with you. And you guys know that anything I love or do or use, I will share it with you and be upfront and honest. So let's get started. So this is the album, this is my studio sample and this supplier is called Graphi Studios and they are based in Italy so they're all Italian made and printed there um, and also so this is like I said a sample album that I have from them. Um, this one is a 9.5 um, uh, by 9.5 inch album and I've done it for my studio so I wanted to put my logo but with them you can print any um, image on there for your clients or put a, you know just text or whatever you want but for the basis of my studio I wanted my logo and also um, you know just a little slogan there capturing memories that last a lifetime which um, this is all about so um, I wanted to show you inside so usually the first page is always plain now I'm trying to hold the camera and um, show you guys at the same time so you can have full width um, you know uh, what's it called uh, uh, you know uh, print or you can have like little boxes they have templates in their system so you can use their system it's really basic but they have teamed up with I think it's called fundy f-u-n-d-y um, correct me if I'm wrong the pronunciation I'm worse at pronouncing things so fundy they've co connected with them so if you have them you can actually design these albums with that software so I haven't even got it yet but um, I should I've just been lazy and I use their old um, system which is slow so if you're starting highly recommend you use them in that software fundy so I've done this album um, wide width so trying to fill all the pages with the image um, but I wanted to show you you can add some text there color and things like that now with Fundy If you use that software to make these albums, I'm pretty sure you have more options as well. So this is what it looks like um, all there. And um, the good thing is it comes with like a case which I will show you in a minute but this one the the case was a bit damaged from a client so I don't have the case for this one but I do have the case which I'll show you in a minute a very old sample that I had when I first started um, which is an 8 by 8 inch I'll show you guys in a minute so that's what it looks like it's such a beautiful text like the texture you can have it matte and um, or you can have it um, glossy I think this one is um, a matte so if you have a look this one I think is a matte yeah so that's what it looks like and I'll show you it in an 8 by 8 inch with the box so this is the 8 by 8 inch this is the album and this is the box there so this um, you're gonna laugh so much patterns in that but I um, ordered this years and years ago when I first found out about Graphy Studios and um, I just wanted to get different um, you know textures in there because um, they have all these which was an older style they had which is why I don't show these to clients anymore because I don't like the patterns but I just thought I'd show you guys for in regards to size and how you can add little cute um, you know you know symbols like animals and things like that but this is such an old album that I was hesitant to show you guys but for the sake of this blog I want to share with you everything so as you can see you can add these patterns if you want to I think they still have them I'm not quite sure because like I said I've just been making really plain ones so that's it they even have um, templates where you can just drag and drop the um, the images in there um, and also see something like that is very it's cute um, depends how simple what type of style your photography is um, so yeah 
that's the 8 by 8 inch and I will compare it to the um, 9.5 which is just slightly bigger so I just did this this was also a studio sample as well um, and I don't I, I'm not very big fan of it anymore um, I do I still have that same size I do show it for the size for clients but mainly this one's ordered um, but if someone wants something small just for the nursery then this is a popular one and this is the box that it comes with so as you can see it's really old so it's got stains on there but you can pick the ribbon sides you can pick the box color you can pick you know um, you can design this as as you like also when you open the box I'm just trying to do it with one hand um, it will come like this so you can even have um, writing there so you can have the child's name date of birth etc so that's an added they charge you a little bit extra I think it's like ten dollars extra so I have that as an option for clients and obviously they pay for it um, then you can choose a ribbon size and also you can choose um, and that, sorry that sits in there like that um, yeah so the box is one color you can choose the inside color so you don't even have to write anything you can just choose a color in there or you can write as well as color and um, usually when I remember when I purchased them they had them sitting up something like this so that's what it looked like so hopefully um, that makes sense if you have any questions about this supplier like I said this is not sponsored but I just wanted to show you guys I will leave a link below I do have um, more albums of this for clients that I will show you um, in future but yeah so this is my favorite album that I use for all clients um, it's my most popular because it's least expensive than the um, actual uh, other albums that I order within Australia and it takes about a few weeks to arrive um, it doesn't take long to order and literally cost of good like this cost me the um, 8x8 cost me I think I'm just trying to remember now 110 and this one cost 120 or 130 in that size so that's what you would be paying and obviously you can decide to sell it for however you want um, to your clients um, don't forget to add in the postage the packaging that you've got to package all this for your clients as well also um, I've created a freebie this week for you guys and listed all the information that I've discussed here plus everything that I have uh, that I offer my clients in my studio links to those suppliers um, the cost of those items that I offer in my studio and um, what I sell them for as well just to give you an idea of what you can up the cost to actually make a profit from these items so you can go download that it's my fav it's called my favorite um, uh, my favorite product um, list and you can go download it it's absolutely free the link should be somewhere below or above this video so i'll catch you guys next week for another blog take care did you know the number one struggle us photographers face especially when starting our photography business is we can't book enough sessions into our business in order for it to grow and for us to make money. So what I've done is I've created a training that's absolutely free for you to join. And I'm gonna show you three ways you can book more sessions right now. So these three things that you can do in your business right now to book more sessions and hopefully get your calendar booked up. All you gotta do is go to thephotographersociety.com forward slash training.